tell me. But it's going to have to be a positive gospel. And the reason I'm saying positive is because the word of God, if you preach it the way it's supposed to be done, it will get people saved. Amen? Amen. The last scripture I want us to read is in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. Paul was writing to Timothy and trying to warn him about some things that might happen. And he was charging Timothy to preach the word. And he said, Timothy, young man, listen to this. For the time will come when they, those people sitting there in your church, would not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust, they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. The teachers didn't have itching ears. The people that were listening had itching ears, meaning they only wanted to hear what sounded good. If you can't give them a good, feel-good message, then they're going to leave you. Well, one of these days, they'll run out of churches, probably. But you know, people, we're going to have to to learn how to just preach the way the Word is and the way, and the way that God tells it to it. We can't do it any differently. No. You know, I'd be afraid to try to do it differently. Mm-hmm. But Daniel told the king what he needed to hear, not what he wanted to hear. But you see what happened? When he told the king what he needed to hear, the king eventually, after he went through that judgment, he eventually changed his heart. Mm-hmm. And I think he probably repented. So it paid off. If Daniel had given the wrong message, Daniel would have gone to hell. He wouldn't have made it, and Nebuchadnezzar wouldn't have either. So there's a real message that we need to understand and do what God tells us to do. Amen? Does anybody have any questions or comments? All right. It was a little bit longer than usual tonight. I realize we got started a little bit late also, but uh, you can't rush through too much when you're trying to to teach it. Amen? I'm not complaining. Amen. (laughs) Well, let's stand and we'll be dismissed. And uh, <clears throat> Would someone like to volunteer to dismiss us in prayer? Most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this evening. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to gather and, and in your house and, and listen to your words. And Lord, we ask that you help us to understand these words that you have given us. And Lord, help us to understand the book of Daniel. Uh, Lord, we ask you now to be with each and every one as we go about our prospective homes. Guide, direct us, protect us, and bring us back Sunday morning. Lord, we love you. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Amen.